Okay everyone, so in this video I'm gonna share with you my overclocking settings for my RTX 3060 Ti which is an LHR card that means this one has a mining limiter so we need to maximize the hash rate through a miner called NB miner and we're also gonna use HiOS to create a flight sheet with NB miner right now I'm using T-Rex with no overclocking settings and I'm only getting 27 megahertz per second and if I add the overclocking settings we're gonna add I get maximum 32 megahertz per second so we're gonna go and create a flight sheet with NB miner and we will go up to about 42 megahertz per second when mining with ETash okay so let's do this all right so to do this just go into your farm and after that we are gonna go into your worker we're gonna go to flight sheets and I'm just gonna stop this uh, current flight sheet all right so now we want to go and create a new flight sheet go into flight sheet and you can see that we have this link right here to manage your flight sheets go to flight sheets you can click on this one and this will just take you to your farm and we see you have workers cards stats wallets flight sheets right here if you don't want to click on the link you just go to the main page go into your farm click on flight sheets and you will get to the same page so we're gonna go and create a new flight sheet we're gonna choose the coin I'm gonna choose Ethereum we're gonna choose a wallet I'm gonna choose Binance if you don't have a wallet you can just click on add wallet add your coin your wallet address and name this and just click on create and now you have a wallet after that just go to the pool uh, choose your favorite pool I'm choosing Ethermine and the rule of thumb is that uh, choose the one that are closest to you so I'm in Europe so I'm gonna click on Europe after that just go and click on apply and now we're gonna go and select miner you need to select this one NB miner for this to work and this is for Nvidia cards and uh, AMD cards so just click on NB miner all we have to do now is just name these two whatever you like I'm just gonna name these two ETH Ethereum and just uh, NB miner like so after that we're gonna go to the bottom uh, right corner click on create flight sheet and now we can see our new flight sheet right here we have uh, ethereum we have our wallet we have our pool and we have our nb miner all right so now we want to go to uh, our worker just go to this one workers choose your worker and now go to uh, flight sheets locate the flight sheet we just created so in my case it's this one just go and click on this uh, rocket logo and just click on apply so now uh, we will send the config to our uh, rig to start mining using uh, NB miner so now we are going to go to this one click on overview so we will see the current uh, megahertz per second right here so you can just go right here and click on refresh or just go to the browser and refresh right here okay so after I have refreshed uh, everything has kicked in and we now have 37 megahertz per second without any overclocking settings we have a temp of 66 celsius fan speed 97 percent and a power consumption at 192 all right okay so now we're gonna go and add overclocking settings to get to 42 uh, megahertz per second 
we're gonna lower the temperature we're gonna lower the fan speed and we're also gonna lower the power uh, consumption so to do this just make sure that you have your RTX 3060 Ti and after that just go to the right and click on this uh, overclocking settings logo and now we got this uh, pop-up and first we're gonna set a core clock okay so I have this uh, crypto mining server on discord so this one and if I go to the left sidebar we can go to overclocking LHR cards and click on 3060 Ti LHR and here we can see the overclocking settings that I use you can join if you want uh, you find a link in the description so in this server we help each other with mining problems and things like that so if you want to join this uh, just go to the description below and click on the link and join it we love to have you in the group okay so we have core clock minus 500 just add minus 500 we have memory clock 2450 memory clock 2450 and these settings are for high OS if you want to do like MSI afterburner you can just uh, uh, divide memory clock by 2 so this would be like 1225 all right and after that we have fan so we got the fan speed, you can add zero for auto fan speed or you can add your fixed amount depending on your card's temp and the noise from your rig. We want to have 65 or below at least. So I'm just gonna add 80% for this one and this is just for you to experiment. You can go like maybe 70, 75 depending on how noisy you want to have or do zero and see how much uh, fan speed you get without any prefix settings and after that we're gonna go to uh, power limit so you can start with 130 watts and if you get like 42 uh, megahertz per second in hash rate then you can change it to like 120 and if it doesn't change you can keep 120 all right so in my case I'm just going to add 120 right away because I already test this out and after that we're just going to go down and click on apply. Alright so now we see that we have the overclocking settings right here. We have fan speed 80%, we have core clock minus 500, uh, memory clock 2450 and power limit 120. So now you can just wait a couple of minutes and after that you can just go and update. And already we got uh, 38.62 megahertz per second. I'm gonna update one more time. And like that, now we got 43 megahertz per second. I usually get about 42, 43 megahertz per second with NB minor and these overclocking settings. And we can see that my temperature is like 59 degrees right now. And if I go and update one more time, it's uh, now 58. Uh, this is because my room, uh, which I have my rig in, is quite hot, so I think this is going to be much lower for you if you have a good ventilated uh, room where you keep your rig. And as you can see, it now went down to 42, so it will go like to 43, 42, alright? So just comment below uh, your own results, and also if you want to join my uh, Discord server, uh, if you want to talk about mining if you need help with mining or if you have some problem with your mining and can help others all right so you find the link in the description just click on it join it and we love to have you in our discord server okay so have an awesome day take care and bye